Good day, everyone. We are back with the Wales League. Let's enter Division 5. Let's see where we are at. As always, we start with Division 5, then we move upwards towards Division 1. And we'll be doing one day. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Actually, I should move it a little bit more. So like this. Okay, anyway, starting with Div Division 5, uh, we'll check out each division. How teams are doing and then one one day worth of games on the stream here and after that i'll upload it to youtube so division five let's check out the standings so currently on top dj's jersey boys and my psychonauts both teams with six wins and only one loss Ooh, cg won the head to head but i actually have the better margin of victory here. We at the bottom in Division 5, we got Big Red Dogs. One win and six losses. They are second to, to last. And then Grand Prize winner, no wins and eight losses so far in the season. Okay, let's get into the games we got how many nine games so all 18 teams in division 5 playing today i'll try to get um, the stats live as well next week so you can see how your players are actually doing make sure we can quickly check out the league leaders as well today so we got c redbeard captain redbeard from Shield Squad, I think. Yeah, Shield Squad with 25.6 per points per game. Rebounds going to Flow P on Flacco Flow Joes, and then we got Kevin Sparker on Flow Sneakers. That is a Flow Say team with 11.6 assists per game. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to get all this live on BBL Dot Center next week. Yeah, let's get into the games. Durf Defenders going against Flacco Flow Joes. Flacco Flow Joes at home, but Durf favored by 2.5. Does Durf get it? Close one, yeah. Durf gets it. One hundred five to ninety nine is the final score here. This game score going to Queen Laquifa and Durf defenders. Eighteen points, twenty one rebounds, four assists, and six blocks. Did everything to secure the W here for the team. Moving on, LNC OG going against Delta Squad. Delta Squad at home, but LNC OG favored by one in, in this one. Delta Squad on a roll and this one 126 to 94 Delta Squad six secures their third win of the season best game score going going to a losing side actually Blunt Batty 26 points eight rebounds one assist and three blocks for for her on the losing side next up Minja going against my Cyclops my Cyclops at home Favored by two. We need a win here. The 
but it's not looking good so far for my team. Oof. So Minja takes it 122 to 103. Minja now on the season with six wins and three losses. My Psychonauts with six wins and two losses. Best game score going to Minja's center. 25.6 rebounds, seven assists, and just one turnover. Nine of 12 shooting from the floor. Next up, Brick Proxy Brand Ballers 2 going against I Need About NF3 BD. NFT Fitting gets the win. They are now three wins and five losses on the season. 114 to 90 is the final score, Brooksy. Third win, third loss on the season, uh, next to six wins. Best game score, surprise, surprise on the NFT Fitting team. 24 points, five rebounds, 13 assists, two steals, one block. No turnovers, 10 of 12 shooting. Nice with a game score over 30. Unholy Katana's going against Car Rips now. Car Rips at home, favored by 3.5 are the Unholy Katana still. And Katanas get the win, 117 to 110. Our Carl Rips, best game scorer. On the losing side, we got Slamming Sammy, who fouled out, unfortunately, but had a triple double. 24 points, 12 rebounds, 12 assists. Nice to see. I, I think this is the, the second triple double of the season in Division 5. Let's just quickly check it. Oh no, uh -huh. I'm so wrong. It's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ninth triple double here. And Slam and Sammy has three of the triple doubles in Division 5 this season. Moving on to Shun Squad, going against Pink Posse. Pink Posse at home, favored by 8. Easy win for Pink Posse, 118 to 101 against Shun Squad. Best game score going to OG and Jarp off the pinch for Pink Posse. 27 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, and 11 of 12. The shooting perfect, 4 of 4 from Beyond the Arc here. Front prize winner going against Big Red Dogs now. Big Red Dogs at home, favored by 13.5. Big win for Big Red Dogs, 120 to 93, so a 27 point win for Big Red Dogs. Claw here, 32 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists and a steal for the Big Red Dogs. Two more games in Division 5 before we move up to Division 4. We got Boogie going against Windmill Scraps. Scraps have been doing pretty well for me for windmill champ so far and they are favored here by 12 at home
close one though kind of but windmill scraps take it at the end 107 to 98 they are in a six and two on the season boogie three and five best game score on the losing side though big o was working towards a triple double missed it by just one assist 28 points 11 rebounds nine assists and two steals for big o on the losing side here for the o boogie okay we are here now this is gonna be interesting uh, last game uh today for division five Flow Sneakers against Jersey Boys. Flow Sneakers 5 and 2 on the season so far. Jersey Boys 6 and 1. Jersey Boys at home there by 2. Gotta be rooting for Flow Sneakers here. So otherwise, Jersey Boys will start running away with it. Flow Sneakers. Nice 20 point fin win for Lose. 113 to 93. And it was all in the fourth quarter. On the fourth quarter by 19. Best game scorer, Robert Horney. Off the bench for Flo Sneakers. Played just 21 minutes, but had 19 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists and was shooting six of seven from the floor. Okay, look at the standings after the day for division five. We got flow sneakers on, well, on top, but there are four teams with the six wins and two losses record. We got Jersey Boys, Wormel Scraps, Psychonauts, and like I said before, flow sneakers at the bottom. Front prize winners still looking for their first win. Okay, let's uh, move up to Division 4. Five games in Division 4. Let's look at the standings first. We got Big Brooksy Brand Ballers on top. Eight wins, one loss. Followed by Flozay's Size Matters and Atlanta BC. Man Milder with two wins and seven losses at the bottom. Let's see if things change after today. Atlanta PC going against Air Buddies. Air Buddies at home, but Atlanta favored by 4.5. Tough loss for Atlanta. Everybody's take it. 127 to 99. Both teams are 6 and 4 on the season now. Best game score, Chim Dan Shoot. Only paid uh, 25 minutes in this one, but scored 33 points, had 4 rebounds and 2 assists. Stone Cold also had a pretty good game for everybody's 14 points and 20 assists. This is a triple level by two rebounds. Groupside Crushers going against Size Matters. Size Matters at home here by eight. Size Matters gets the win 120 to 99. Seven wins, two losses now for Size Matters on the season. Curbside Crushers under 500, four wins and six losses for them. But they do have the best player based on game score. Captain Cooper, 31.6 rebounds, four, uh, two assists, two steals, and two blocks on the losing side. Boss City going against nobodies. Nobody's at home. Favorite by nine. Uh, 
and nobody's get the win 99 to 84 they are five and five on the season now best game scorer let's pick the one on the winning side the man 25 points 12 rebounds three steals and two blocks for the man on nobody's big proxy brand followers going against mark two let's see if proxy can get their night win in this one matthew at home here by 0.5 though And that is the second loss of the season for Brooksy Brand Ballers here in Division 4. Matthew with the win, 113 to 105. Best game score going to Matt Soul. 18 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 steals, 2 blocks. Close to a 5x5 game. Nice performance there for Mad Woman's Baller. Last game of Division 4, we got which the windmills going against Benz. Benz at home, favored by one. Close one, Robert Corey dropping the game winning basket with 0.5 seconds remaining for which the windmills, which windmills take it 114 to 113, windmills with their sixth win of the season and Tyson Fangler was their best player in this one, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists, 1 steal and 1 block for Dyson. Okay, let's move on to the standings and then up to division three big proxy brand followers eight wins two losses on top followed by flows a's size matters with seven wins and two losses and at the bottom here we got benz and hardwood hacks both teams with two wins and seven losses on the season Yeah, let's see what's happening in Division 3. Standings. Disco on top currently. Six wins, one loss for them. Then we got Basket Towns with six win wins and two losses. And Wind City Chambers with five wins and two losses. This, this is the top three. And then way at the bottom here, we find Colden Arcs and my Commissioner's Choice. Both teams with two wins and five losses. See all 12 teams playing. Basket Towns going against Lopez 4. Lopez 4 at home, favored by 7.5. Actually, in Division 3, there was uh, one setting wrong, which meant fouls were pretty much turned off. This got fixed, I think, on Friday. Anyway, Lopez 4 with the win 123 to 85. Third loss for Basket Town, seventh win for Lopez 4. Best game score going to Boo. 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 steals for Boo on Lopez 4. My stop commissioner's choice going against everybody, everybody at home, here by 9.5.
close one. Mm, nope, not that close, unfortunately for me. Um, everybody gets to win 118 to 111. Their fifth win of the season. This game score going to the Bane on everybody. 26 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 11 of 15 shooting for D Bane. Moving on to Dolos Dudes going against Effigy's Smoke Show. Effigy at home, favorite by 5. Close one, but FAG Smoke Show survives the late push from Dolos Dudes. Dolos Dudes won the fourth quarter 41 to 27, but lost the game 122 to 121. Best game score on FAG's Smoke Show, Howie David. 29 points, 9 rebounds, 9 of 12 shooting from Howie. Dax Nuts going against Win City Jammers. Win City Jammers at home, favored by 1.5. I think Dax Nuts lost their, like, I want to say eight first games last season. This season a little bit better three wins and six losses right now after this loss here with the jammers getting their sixth win of the season 118 to 95 and big bad omen making her presence felt on the win city jammers team 28 points four rebounds three assists and one steal 11 of 14 shooting from the floor Next up, Effigy's Golden Arcs going against Maki's Rebel Rejects. Rebel Rejects at home, favored by 8.5. Close game, but the Golden Arcs take it here. 119 to 115. Best game score, Alien Sandcastle coming off the Golden Arcs bench. 25 points and one rebound. Okay, 9 of 13 shooting though. Now we got the league leader currently, Disco, going against Rebels in training. That is a monkey team. Rebels in training are at home, but this goal favored by six. Let's see if uh, Rebels in training can maybe get a surprise win at home here. Rebels in training get the win 107 to 94. So, yeah, they have some good synergy, even if they they are not favored by the by the rating system. Full rise, only 20 minutes played, but plus 22. So the bench carried Rebels in training. Full rise, 21 points in in that 21 minutes. Uh, also had seven rebounds and three steals so that is it for division three Let's check out the standings and then move up to division two the disco on top still even after that loss followed by win city jammers 
both teams six wins two losses and then way at the bottom here there, there is me from a serious choice two six two wins six losses uh, guess I'm going to, to be in division four next season if I'm not gonna bounce back okay division two Standings. On top, Emperor D and my Sanity Skull Jays. Both these teams keep winning. They have been really close uh, throughout the week here. And then at the, at the bottom we find the other holders, that is Alexis team and Pirates of the Metaverse, both teams with 2 wins and 7 losses. Okay, let's see, so 10 teams playing on the day, I don't see Cold Jays, I do see Emperor D though, Emperor D will have a, a tough matchup going against Raid Snipers. Trade Snipers were in Division 1 last season. Yeah, let's start with the games here. Soul Assassins going against Pirates of the Metaverse. Pirates of the Metaverse at home, favored by 6. Let's see if they can get maybe their third win of the season. Close one. Soul Assassins now going a small one and followers parts of the metaverse can't answer back so so assassins get the win 112 to 100 their fifth win of the season eight loss for for parts of the metaverse best game score let's pick the one on the winning side Teardrop with a massive staff line here, 17 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 steals, 5 blocks. Nice defense from him. Next up, Emperor C going against Holy Katanas. Holy Katanas at home, favored by 5. Nice high scoring game. Emperor C takes it though. 133 to 122 against Holy Katanas. Larry Legend trying everything. Best player in the game. 33 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 steal, 14 of 18 shooting. But it, it comes in a losing effort. So next up, game of the day for Division 2. We got three snipers going against Emperor D. Emperor D at home, but three snipers favored by Surprisingly, three snipers take the L here. Emperor D 114, three snipers 102. So Emperor D getting their eight win, and they are now solely on top because my Sanity's Gold Jays are not playing on the day. Best player in this game, left eye 24 points, nine rebounds, five assists, one steal, and three. Blocks 9 of 13 shooting. Moving on, we got Mad going against Pookie JVB. Pookie JVB at home, fair fight 7.
for Kitch ABB with the win 108 to 98 against Madbone Pink Lady. 30 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 4 blocks, 5 of 12 from Beyond Dark, carrying her team to the victory here. And last game in Division 2, the other holders going against D Crocs, D Cock Crocs at home, favored by 6.5. The other holders getting their third win of the season here, 118 to 102 against the Crocs. Team Sum Curl carrying them 29 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 steals for, for Team Sum Girl. Was perfect from the free throw line, 12 of 12. Quick look at the standings before we move up to the main event to Division 1. So yeah, Emperor D on top, 8 wins, 2 losses, followed by Gold J, 7 wins and 2 losses, and then Emperor C with 6 wins and 3 losses. At the bottom, 3 Crocs, 2 wins, 7 losses, and, and even more at the bottom, we got Pirates of the Metaverse with 2 wins and 8 losses. Next up, Division 1. Oh yeah, we're, we're doing two days worth of games in Division 1. So yeah, standings first, Atlas Pay on top, and Pay's team, 7 wins, 1 loss. Just has a little bit better margin of victory than Lopez 1, who is Currently in second with the same record of seven wins and one loss. Then we got D Emperor and Emperor B, both with six wins and two losses. On fifth place, currently the Kid, sixth, Effigies All Stars, seventh, Maki's Elite Rebels, then Lopez 3 and Lopez 2 as eight and ninth. On tenth spot, G League Rebels, ninth. Big tickets and way at the bottom as 12 Dick B's ballers off the metaverse. One win and six losses for them. Okay, let's go. Two days worth of game, seven games in total for Division 1. All Stars going against Emperor B. Emperor B at home, but All Stars favored by one. Close for the All-Stars to try to come back in the fourth quarter, but Emperor takes it. Massive first quarter by Emperor B. 38 points to 21, and they win the game 110 to 104. Silver Fox, the All-Star on the All-Stars, was on fire though. 28 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, and 3 blocks. 10 of 14 shooting from the floor. Unfortunately, the team did not win. Next up, Ballers of the Metaverse going against Lopez 3. Lopez 3 at home, favored by 1.5. Close game, but Ballers of the Metaverse, they hold on. 113 to 111. So both teams are now two wins, with two wins and six losses on the season. Shulki on the losing side was the best player in this game, though. 
based on game, scored 29 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 blocks. So we have 5 more games. Ooh, that's a nice treat we got coming up. 5 more games on today's stream. With Lopez 1 going against Atlas Pay. To see who will will be the lone team on top after today's stream but we are going to start with Emperor B going against the kid the kid at home favored by six points close one the kid taking the lead sub-zero was fouled so get the free throw at free throws here three-point game Rex Rudy makes the one-point game the kid's still on top defensive rebound by Rex Rudy though 31 seconds and Emperor B has the ball DJ Mbanga low post shot no good and Lars with the defensive rebound so will they get a steal no free throws it is for Caitlin Stark Caitlin so far in the game oh no free throws coming up for for Lars Lars hasn't shot a free throw yet let's see what happens makes the first one makes the second one back to a three-point game 14.2 remaining DJ Manga low post shot, so they don't go for a triple. That's interesting. And that's no good. Rookie. Defensive rebound. Sub zero free throw line. Sub zero not not the best free throw shooter, I think. Yeah, 58 only, so there's a chance they'll miss two. Misses the first one. Doesn't miss the second one. Four point game, four point eight seconds. Emperor B needs a miracle. Flama Blanca, did she she get um, fouled? Nope, and the shot doesn't go either. The kid gets the win 112 to 108. Best game score on the losing side, though. DJ Mbanga 22 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 blocks. Let's leave this one as the last game. I'll either, either even slow it down just a little bit. Uh, Bowlers of the Metaverse going against Chile Rebels, though. Chile Rebels at home, favored by 0.5. Easy win for G League Rebels, 129 to 105. They get their third win of the season. Katana going off in this one. 32 points, two rebounds, one assist, and one steal. Five off 11 from beyond the arc, and 12 off 19 from the floor. Eli Rebels going against Lopez 3. It's Lopez 3 at home, but it's an even spread. Lopez 3 with the win, 113 to 110. Best game score, Shulky once again. 27 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 blocks. 9 of 19 shooting from the floor. The two more games remaining on today's stream. We got all, all stars going against Lopez 2 first. Lopez 2 at home. All stars favored by 0.5.
on Lopez 2 with the win 117 to 105. Lopez is having a pretty good day so far, I think. Best game score, Feeney, 21 points, one rebound, seven assists, and one block for Feeney. For Feeney. Um, um, and the last game of the day, we got Lopez 1 and Atlas Fay. Both teams with seven wins and one loss. One of them um, yeah, will be on top of the division after this game, and the other one will be second. Which is which? We'll find out soon enough. Atlas Fay at home, favored by two. Let's we'll slow it down just a little bit. So yeah, next season, um, next season, next week, it's going to be some news. For the one we won tourney, or, or one we won league, maybe we'll make it a league. And oof, Lopez won, running away. Can MP come back? Nope. So Lopez 1 gets the win. 118 to 103. And yeah, like I mentioned before, I'll get the stats live as well. Lopez 1, 8 wins, 1 loss. Atlas Payne, 7 wins, 2 losses. Best game score. Going to the losing side though. Aster Pay tried to keep his team alive 25 points four rebounds and one block 10 off 12 shooting played only 18 minutes though anyway let's check out the standings like i mentioned lopez one on top followed by atlas pay then we got the empire and then empire b then the kid nothing really changing here uh, sixth All Stars, seventh Lopez, two, eighth Chile Rebels, ninth Lopez, three, tenth Elite Rebels, eleventh Bowlers of the Metaverse, and twelfth we got peak tickets. So yeah, that is it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching live, if you're watching on YouTube, and I'll I'll see you on next Sunday. Bye.